Let's talk about radical hysterectomy. So yesterday was all about sort of an uncomplicated uh, removal of the uterus. Radical hysterectomy is going to be a step forward. This is going to be a more intense and severe procedure for conditions that often have pathology to them. So fibroids, adhesions, extensive endometriosis, adenomyosis, those kind of things where they're going to have to actually go in and they're going to remove a lot of tissue, including the uterus. Here you can see the shadow of what would have been the ovaries, the uterine tube, and the uterus itself. Now this is actually parametrium. This is the tissue that normally keeps everything up here from going down through the pelvic floor. Well, in a radical hysterectomy, there are more complications. And what happens is they take everything out of here. And so you're actually, even the cervix is actually gone. This is usually stitched closed. Inside the pelvic floor is a mess. It is a continuous piece of tissue that kind of flows from one to the other, things are not nearly as well defined as you see in models. And so what can happen is this tissue can be damaged and even in the healing process, it can leave gaps. And then whenever you do, when you have increased abdominal pressure, what can happen is the bladder can actually be forced down into the vaginal canal, like pushed down in and out. You have to imagine sort of a balloon being turned inside out. Here you have kind of a pair of balloons. One kind of rests inside the other. It's all very stretchy and pliable tissue, and it literally will just slide out of the opening in the pelvis. There are several different versions of this. It all falls under the label of POP, which is pelvic organ prolapse. We'll throw up the graphic here so you can kind of take a look at all the horrifying possibilities that can happen. There are interventions that can help with these, but it is a very real risk when you take anything inside of you and take it out, there are going to be structures that can move around or damage that is unforeseen and complications like that. As always, thank you for learning with me. If you have a question, you know what to do.